everyone. We're here at the American Librarians Association Convention, so the three of us got to get together and we thought we'd um, come and say hi and talk a little bit about our book um, and answer some questions if any get thrown our way. I'm Robin, I'm Robin Lee Hatcher. I'm Deborah Clopton. And I'm Margaret Brownlee. And we're the authors, along with uh, Mary Keneally of Four Weddings and a Kiss, as well as A Bride for All Seasons. We started with a conference call, and uh, you know what, what could we write about that uh, that we all were excited about? And I think it was Robin that came up with the idea of unlikely brides, and I just love that idea. I did too. Uh, yes, you know the idea that uh, women uh, can, even those that that are not doing what society expects, uh, can find true happiness. I, I just love that idea. So that was it. Yeah. Especially set in the historical, I thought that was a really neat idea. So, and um, I think you came up with the idea of, of connecting it with the pastor, the pastors, I believe. I don't remember how, sure. that, how that, that was. Came. I thought that was yeah. really interesting. That was what's so great about those mm -hmm. conference calls that we did when we were brainstorming these books is that it's really hard to remember who came up with what mm -hmm. because so much creativity it was is. just it's flowing true. like crazy. Yeah. It's true, uh, and we were laughing so hard. And laughing. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> we did. So hard. And laughing. So hard. <laughs> People too. always ask me that. When, that's one of the things I'll say is, how do you come up with all those ideas? That that seems so hard, you know. And I'm thinking, well, that's the easy part. That's yeah. really. I mean, there there's so many up here. It's just kind of weeding through and finding the right one. Yeah. It's, it's 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 the idea is just the seed. You, yes. Then you have to go after the store. Right. And sometimes with a sledgehammer, I might add. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the right. question from the audience is. <laughs> <laughs> How does it make you feel when somebody sends you an email or a letter to tell you that uh, something that you wrote uh, really moved you? And as far as I'm concerned, that is the best part of my job. Well, things do happen, though. Yes. And so we happen. had a, the earthquake is in California, the Northridge earthquake, and of course our house was ruined. And I was on deadline, of course, and I called my publisher when I was able to get a phone and um, asked for an extension. And she said, oh, yes, I can give you two weeks. Well, you know. <laughs> so this ended up with me typing like crazy while there was a man under my desk filling in the cracks in my foundation. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wow. So two weeks, oh, my God. Yeah, and I'm, I'm actually um, late on a deadline right now. So, and I, I've been working well, really, really hard. Here, I know, I know, I know. So I feel pretty guilty. Uh, but I'll work on it when I get back. I mean, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So, yeah. So when I leave here, that's what I'm going to go work on. So. I was sharing with yeah. the gals last night when we were talking about my youngest daughter, who's a creative type, was asked um, if she ever considered being a writer. And she said, are you kidding? My mom has been on deadline for over 20 years. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for being here. We have had such a good time recording this video for you, and we hope you'll enjoy reading for Weddings and a Kiss. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So good to see you. <laughs> and uh, we hope you enjoy reading for Weddings and a Funeral. We'd love to hear from you. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. oh. <laughs> Enjoy reading for Weddings and a Kiss.